Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this picture and a file, and they're trying to reduplicate this uh, sharp looking twirl item. And they're doing it with the interactive or the uh, artistic media tool. And the only reason I know this, because I, I, I made something like this a couple years ago, I'm going to use the four solid polygon. And I'm going to make a diamond shape. I'm going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. And then while holding down the control button, I'm going to go to the top. I'm going to double click on it and move my rotation to the center. Not quite there. Let me zoom in. It's got to be right on the center. A lot of times it's easier to come off of it and have it snap to that center. And then get off of it and see if it is. And it is. Now I'm going to open up the Windows, Docker, Transform. And I just did this to make sure I could do it. I'm going to rotate. There were 16 of them. So I'm going to rotate it 22 and a half degrees. I only need 15 because I've got one. I'm actually going to take away my circle. I'm actually going to make all these blue, take away the outline, and group them together. Now I'm going to get out the twirl tool. And because it's selected, I can go right to the center and start twirling them. Now, I don't have the exact little uh, curvature right there, but I could, if I wanted to, I could do that uh, quite easily. And matter of fact, let's just, let's make sure I can. So I need to ungroup them. And I get that one. And I am going to nudge it out of the way like 10 inches. And if I don't move it and I delete all these, I can move this one back. And I'm going to left click, no fill, right click outline. And I can make that little bit of a hump with my shape tool. Um, I, I can't move it too much because I don't want to um, have them uh, get in the way of each other. So let's just call that good. Now let's see if this has worked. I am going to double click on the rotate. It's still in the center, thankfully. We're nothing touching, so we're good. I'm going to fill it with, I need to select them all. Fill them with blue. Take away the outline. Now I need to group it together. And now that was probably done. I don't know if it's even done within Corel, but interactive field tool. Get on the blue and go to cross and then put a red there. Now it doesn't look near as good because it's on a black background. Let me take away the indexing line. Let me bring in a, well, that would actually work, but I wanted a square. Let me bring in a rectangle, color it black. Go up to object, order, back a page. And see how it makes it stand out? So now I've got that little bit of a curve. I did, I probably overdid it. But he did tell me it doesn't have, because he was going to go with this. Uh, but when you're working with something that you, you don't want touching, you know, the angle on this would really be critical. So by starting with that, diamond shaped and then twisting it, it should work out. There's a little bit brighter red, um, but there again, uh, that's how I would do it. I actually like this one better. I went a little bit too far with that point and that could be fixed. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.